Welcome to today's episode of Nurse on the Go video. Today we're going to talk about taking a nasopharyngeal swab. Um, it is quite an invasive procedure, a bit uncomfortable for the patient, so always explain what you're doing. So I'll come up to Roger, say, Roger, we're going to put a dirty big tube down the back of your nose. It's going to feel uncomfortable for less than a second, then I'm going to take it out. Um, so make sure you they understand what's happening. Have the person sitting up with their head rested against the back of the bed, because a natural reflex is to, when you poke anything up your nose beside your finger, you're gonna pull back, all right? They're gonna try and pull back, and if they're trying to sit up, they're going backwards, you're trying to push them with the tube, no one's gonna win, you're gonna contaminate your sample. So we need a good sterile sample as we can. So I've explained to Roger what we're doing. I've got um, two types of swabs we can take. We can take a viral swab, which has a little brushed end, or you can have a bacterial swab, which has a medium in the bottom that you insert the swab end into. So I've told Roger what we're doing. I've got tissues ready because he will probably want to sneeze or feel like he's got a runny nose. Now when I insert the swab, I don't want to insert up into his eyeball. I want to insert straight back down into his nasopharynx because I want to get a good collection of, of specimen at the back. So I, not using a non-touch technique, I take out the swab, make sure, or oh, side note, make sure you have your PPE on like I have, like goggles, uh, apron and gloves. So I get the swab, put it straight back into his nostrils, see I'm not going up, I'm going straight back in about three, four centimetres, get a twirl so we get a specimen, and straight out. Should take less than a second, really. Quickly put the specimen into a container, get Roger a tissue so he can help blow his nose, make sure he's comfortable after the procedure, his eyes will be a bit watery, and if you're doing it on a child, they'll get quite miserable, so they'll probably want to cuddle for mum and dad. So just to recap on what we've done today, is we've explained to the patient how we're going to do the swab. Um, make sure you can choose the right swab you're going to use, either a viral or bacterial. And make sure you push, go straight back past the nostrils, don't go up. And always make sure that you reassure the patient after you finish. Thank you from Nurse on the Go videos.